a programmer, I think you see like a hundred errors a day. You get kind of desensitized to it. You're like, okay, been here before. I know how to pull myself out. Cool. I'll just, uh, I'll just get it done. I think you guys are fucking with me though, dude. Dude, what do you mean, bro? What did he say? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> he actually messaged you? Yeah. Damn. What are you saying, dude? Do some damage control, bro. That's what I said. I said, yeah, no problem. I felt bad for him yelling. He told me about it. I think he's going through a hard time this past weekend. Don't take it personal, but we are building a brand and a company now, so we all need to work hard and be accountable. <laughs> what? Why did you do it so seriously, dude? We were fucking with you, bro. Oh, you were fucking with me, dude? Yeah. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> be social. On Let's Social. Let's connect. That was almost the app name. But let's be social. On Let's Social. Soon. Not yet. We're still building it. <laughs> what do you think, dude? You know, the app setup is done. I, I think that's where we left off, but I, we took a little break. We found a designer, but obviously we need to kind of give him a little bit of direction. I just threw him something and he kind of threw something back. But now we have to um, actually try it. So we're wi wireframing the app a little bit. I just learned about this really cool uh, uh, wireframing tool, Xcali Draw. Um, this is going to be like the login shit, login stuff. And then there's going to be some onboarding screen and then maybe some um, post screen. You could have like two different views, a list view and a card view. Can you show the setting up like how, like so far what it looks like? Yeah, but there is a little bit of a bug mm -hmm. on the, one of the main wrappers I made. Mm -hmm. Um, with like the insets because I realized like uh, some of the components if like you use a header on react native elements it already sets the safe area insets for you uh, my friend is asking me uh, like for interview help inside of the discord right there's this um if you guys ever like need to go get a job or whatever where is everyone by the way I'm not sure you got scared off by the uh, yeah. admin yeah. panel dude holy yeah. shit, yeah. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> by the way guys the admin panel code i feel like will be like code you'll work on in like a real world i know like a lot of um junior developers when they could first get their jobs they're all mainly working on admin panels that's probably what you'll get thrown in first because you know it's it's not publicly seen it's seen internally <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh the regular one yeah the regular one yeah i'm in that one too uh, okay so there's a there's resources and then uh i really like if you're ha preparing for an interview, Manny, or whatever, uh, mm -hmm. there's these reverse interview questions. This one's pretty popular. It's like 27.9 thousand stars, right? And um, you, they, they just give you questions like about the role, tech. So like, you know, like uh, you can say, oh, how do you integrate and like deploy changes? Is it, changes, is it CI, CD? Or like, is your infrastructure set up under version control or available as code? And you can kind of like, these are kind of like really good questions for like the part where after the interview, they ask you, all right, do you have any questions? You know what I mean? All this kind of stuff. I think it's very important to kind of ask all this kind of stuff. Like not every question, but just like choose. Uh, it's in the resources. So there's a, there's a resources tab under coding. And, they have, um, and then it's like one of the first ones we posted when there was like what? 100 people in the Discord channel. It was a while. Yeah. It was a while ago. And, uh, yeah, I know, uh, like the admin panel was a little bit of a ramp up. Uh, we're talking about it. I feel like the only hard part really for me, or that is this dynamic adding of uh, answers, right? That's like the hard part of this. Um, and that's why there was like a lot of code with like replacing nodes and stuff like that. If we static it to four, it would have been very simple. Mm -hmm. But the thing mm -hmm. is like, I, this is a very good, um, learning experience, but Honestly, it should have been hard because you know about in in about three weeks you're gonna look back and you guys are gonna be able to build something cooler. I know I say this, but I'm here to like uh, what like it could be very comfortable, right? But you have to be uncomfortable to like make it very uh, to have like progress. So stick with it, and it'll be it'll be it'll be worth it. So there's like. Um, SMTP for simple mail transfer service, HTTPS, which is just HTTP with an SSL certificate, FTP for file transfer protocol. And these are all things you're gonna need to really um, kind of understand. 
But the big one you have to understand is the HTTP requests, because that's like, uh, like as a developer with backend and front end systems, you're probably gonna work with uh, HTTPS. But there's something like recently called GraphQL, which we'll get into later. I'm not, I'm not too experienced in GraphQL, but this is another protocol that they've created at Facebook that people are using, where um, you can kind of like make your backend requests and like the data shape of how you want it in the front end. But we'll um, we'll talk about that in the future. But uh, today we're going to talk about the HTTP protocol. And definitely, if you guys are ever bored, just um, type in internet protocols and read about what each one is. If you think it's going to be hard, it's going to be hard. Definitely. Just, uh, I want you guys to not... Everything is digestible. Someone else has done it before. And I'm sure you guys can do it too. So, uh, there's something... There's a lot of these HTTP servers. So, like me, I'm working on... Um, okay, so this is, like, uh, this is the back end that I'm working on right now. So like this is uh, how you create like a REST, RESTful API kind of stuff. So you have like a create and you set some kind of um, path to the protocol that you want to send. So these HTTP requests have methods. They're usually called like a post or put or get or delete. And there's other ones too like trace and, but I don't really use those. So these four ones are, are the ones that you have to get used to. Post is to create new. Put is to update, get is to read or get, and delete is to delete. So those are the methods with HTTP requests that happen. And if you guys don't have it yet, please install this program uh, called Postman or Insomnia. These are the ones that I use. So post, um, I'll help you guys install that if you guys need in the future, but it's just the place where you can kind of like make these requests. So right, right now, it's, this is like hitting my server. This ID token's broken, so I have to go get a new one. Which is better, Postman or Insomnia? I like Insomnia. It's a little bit easier to configure and it's a little bit faster. I think like I like I can try to like kill my server sometimes by like pressing it over and over and over again. Postman is definitely like the industry standard, but I think a lot of the newer devs will be looking at Insomnia. Well, I, I think it's a little bit uh, more friendly the UI as well. Okay. But um, that's how I did the uh, server protection through some kind of token, but. I'll teach you all about that, but definitely there's some stuff like uh, OAuth 2.0 and like JWT tokens that you kind of have to understand when you are making these HTTP requests because that's why I'm talking about it because in the back end, it is almost, honestly, I almost feel like, you know, the back end is like a, it's a connection into your database, but you have to protect your database as best you can or because if you get a bunch of like uh, dirty data there, it's going to ruin your whole project. So by the end of this lesson, you guys will understand. Um, so like back in the day, they were using something called like XHR. They, they added the fetch API into JavaScript, which made it a lot simpler. One problem with working with like requests and stuff, you have th something like um, promises and like these kind of like race conditions and kind of like timing issues. So then they talked about promises. So those are things that we're going to talk about today. I would say HTTP requests and stuff like this is like the bread and butter of front-end development. The way you kind of get data onto a website is through these requests. So a PWA will need HTTP requests. Like uh, I made my bread and butter almost on doing these HTTP requests. I know that every front-end developer does, but honestly, when I was doing front-end development, rather than the whole UI stuff, I was doing like the more back endy tasks, I would say of like hooking up the APIs, making the API layer, uh, catching the errors and all this kind of stuff. And um, now in the back end, it really helped me because now I'm creating those APIs. Two hours later. That's what we created today. We're pulling from an API and we create this uh, user card thing. You guys can uh, try to add this uh, add more button mm. on the bottom. Yeah. So you fetch 10 more, right? So on the bottom, you can add this fetch more button and you can add, and I, I set it up here. So it just makes the request again. So uh, that's it for today. And there is, uh, there are some um, exercises. So git status, git add, git commit, then add project, git push. All right. And um, this is the kind of almost the stuff that you're going to run into every day in code, to be honest. Mm -hmm. This is the code. So um, I appreciate you guys here. I'll see you guys on uh, in the next one. Yep. Yep. And try to, if you have your own a, like like interested API, like any interesting API that you want to work with, like try to make your own project like this. I like the swappy API. Yeah, swappy. 
Star Wars API. Uh, yeah. There's a Pokemon one too. Pokemon, yeah. Mustafa made one, I think, a while ago. Right. Uh, just working here. Uh, it's getting pretty late. Fixed the uh, main wrapper stuff. I got this kind of working on this screen. I just got, uh, I'm still setting up the pet script for uh, my theme. So just gotta keep working, get it done. Um, see you in the next one.